Hello, and welcome to a new edition of True Audio Files. So today, I decided I'm going to do a shootout uh, with my Rolling Stones, Some Girls. And, you know, a big part of the reason for that was uh, I got, a couple weeks ago, uh, on a uh, on a vacation trip, I picked up a MoFi Some Girls, which is right here. So kind of a grail of mine. Uh, I've been looking for it for a while. And so I figured I wanted to see how it compared to the versions, other versions I have, which I have some really cool versions of them. Uh, the ones, I, and to be frank with you, I've already done comparisons in the past, just not on video, between all my other previous versions that I have. And uh, the so with this shootout, and I'll explain why it's only these two. I'm doing a shootout with two of them. So I got the MoFi, which you saw, and then I also have ooh, got a little bit of nastiness on it, but Japanese pressing, and this is a first pressing, early pressing, uh, and the reason why I have this one and not and because I also have several uh, uh, first pressing first U.S. pressings. And the reason why I have chosen the Japanese pressing is because they actually used the same stampers as the U.S. first pressings. And I did do a comparison a few months back, uh, and basically they sounded identical, uh, except the Japanese pressing was quieter. So the obvious choice for me would be the Japanese pressing because Sound the same, but quieter. Sounds like a win-win situation for the Japanese pressing. So that's what I went with when I did this shootout. And basically what I did is I chose two tracks. I usually do t so, uh, a couple of more, but I thought that this was probably going to be sufficient for this shootout. Um, I basically chose Miss You, and I chose Miss You for a couple of reasons. One is because I know it really well and I really like it, but... It also seems to have a different uh, mix than the rest of the album. Uh, you know, like the bass is much more uh, prominent in the mix, not necessarily the UQ, and I mean the bass drum, sorry, and uh, then the rest of the uh, album. So it was different than the rest of the album. And then I uh, decided to do uh, Beast of Burden as the second track that I did the comparison between. So, and... You know, it, it was obvious to me that if I, I could have listened to every single track and I probably would have gotten the same results. So what I found with the Japanese slash U.S. pressing, first pressings, is, you know, a good even tone, uh, you know, good mid-range to it. And, uh, you know, you could really hear the echo in the recording and good sound stage. Uh, you know, decent depth to it. Not not the best I've heard, but decent uh, depth. And just overall great tone to it. A great punch. You know, uh, it just really felt lively. And it was really great. Uh, so then I put on, compared uh, the MoFi to the Japanese pressing. And I definitely felt that, you know, there was a little bit less uh, mid-range to it. And a little bit more bass. I would say treble was pretty similar, although I think there may have been more of the higher, f super high uh, frequencies than uh, on the MoFi in comparison to the uh, Japanese pressing. But uh, I don't think there was necessarily any more treble. Uh, I also found that the MoFi sounded a little less compressed dynamically. Uh, and what resulted in that was giving you... It gives you a deeper sound stage, but it also, I don't know how the best to describe it, but also tends to give you, give it less punch, um, less, uh, liveliness to it a little bit. Uh, and you know, there's so, so there's some trade-offs, you know, there, there is good compression as long as you use it accordingly and properly and you get a good, uh, amount of, uh, oomph to a recording when you add compression to it. And it sounds like that's what was the case with the Japanese slash U.S. first pressings, is that compression was added when they cut it to record. It's probably to cut down on the dynamic range 
uh, so you wouldn't have skipping on the record and things like that for people who had inexpensive turntables. But so, you know, the, I would say, you know, the big difference here is, you know, what the, you know, in the scoop out a little bit of the mid range or what seemed to be a scoop out of the mid range on the, um, on the MoFi seemed to mask the echo a little bit, especially in the voice and the snare. Um, so I didn't n notice that as much on the mobile fidelity. So I think they both sound awesome. And actually, I think in certain aspects, I like the uh, Beast of Burden on MoFi better than I like it on the Japanese pressing in some respects. Um, but with Miss You, you know, like the bass is already very prominent uh, in that recording, the bass drum, and it becomes even more prominent with the scooping out a little bit of the mid range and the boosting, I think, a little bit of the bass. So still sounded great. I think it actually may have even played potentially a little bit deeper than the, um, you know, I think there's probably a little bit more of a full range on the mobile fidelity. So I guess it really depends on what you're after. You know, I think the Japanese slash US pressings uh, sound amazing, you know, and they're going to sound very uh, great on any system, very dynamic. Uh, you know, you're going to be able to hear everything really well. Uh, I think if you're wanting a little bit more 3D sound to it, a little bit more depth to the sound stage, uh, you're definitely going to want the mobile fidelity. So it's a question of what you like, what's more important to you. The, you know, the probably the more neutral EQ sound and a little bit more punch on the Japanese pressing or the better sound feel, uh, sound stage depth and 3D spatialness to it. So it's kind of a toss up. I mean, I'd say that I probably. My preference probably would be the Japanese just a little bit, um, just because uh, I like it seems more open, even though it's not it's not as three di three dimensional and doesn't have as deep a sound stage, but seems a little bit more open with the um, with the mid range there, and also uh, has a little bit more dynamic punch to it. So uh, you know, pick your poison, <laughs> whatever you want. You want more sound stage depth and more three D spatialness to it, you go with the MoFi. If you want the more probably natural EQ and the better punch, you go with the Japanese or the US first pressings. So that is my review for it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you have both versions of this? And if you do, um, or if you have a first US pressing and the MoFi, I'd love to hear your take. Have you done a comparison? What do you like best? You know, if you liked what you saw here, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe to my channel. And when you want to know when my new videos come out, hit that alert bell. And also check me out on social media. I've got the True Audio Files page. It's a group page on Facebook. I want to make that clear because I, I do have, it's kind of sort of a business page on True Audio, of True Audio Files on Facebook. But there's an actual Facebook group called True Audio Files that is the act, most active page. But I also am on uh, Twitter and on Instagram so you can check me out there as well. The links are going to be in the description. So uh, that is everything I've got today. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you. Thank you very much and you have a great one.